Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on another Halloween video. So today I wanted to review the Skull and Roses gold clock. So this clock is absolutely beautiful in person. It is so heavy. So let's go through the details here. So at the bottom here, we have this skull head. It's a really nice size. It looks really awesome here on the pedestal. And then we have some roses here on the left and the right side of him. We also have some like vines and some leaves. And I love that they like left the top row of his teeth in there. That looks really, really creepy. And then we have like some cracking down here at the bottom of it. Looks absolutely beautiful. And then as we go up here, we do have the like columns and the pillars here going up the side. And then of course we have that beautiful clock there in the middle that actually does work. We will get into that here in a minute. And then at the top here, we have some more like artwork. It looks really, really nice. It just adds something to it. And then over here on the side, you can see some like more crackage. So like the, with the cracks in it, it like gives it like this old timey look, like it's been around for a long time, almost like a grandfather clock kind of. And it looks absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead and flip it around and let's see what the back looks like. So here is the back of the clock. Absolutely amazing. I love the artwork, the portrait of like the vines and the skull head absolutely beautiful so as we go up here from the bottom it's just some more of those pillars with some vines and some leaves and then we have the skull head and then the top part here has the same design as the front and then of course the top part here is where the candle sits and this clock is originally 69.95 and it does say up top here i glow in the dark so let's find out what glows in the dark all right, we are in the bathroom now and off first glance, you know, nothing really too crazy happening. And then when you turn the lights off, bam, look at that. So that is a clock that you can definitely see during the nighttime. Like that is just amazing looking. That is the type of glow that I was wanting, like something that I was expecting out of this clock. And I'm just loving that like the main feature is something that is like the best feature of it all. Like, so they did a really, really good job on this clock for sure. Look at that. Now, how about that for glow in the dark? That is awesome. I can't believe that it shines and glows like that bright. That's amazing. So I do use my ring light when I like use these glow in the dark items and I left it on there for only about a minute and that glowed like super, super bright. So I think these kind of items, they kind of have to sit like under some type of like table lamp or some type of lighting all day for them to kind of like glow on their own. To be able to make it glow that bright, I do think that it takes a little bit of effort actually like using a light to make that happen so definitely like you have to put this stuff under some type of lighting all day and then at night time of course when the lights are off everything will glow properly all right now i want to go over how do we make this clock work so it took me a long time about 10 minutes to figure out how to do this i wanted to try to figure it out on my own but of course it does come with instructions here so it says here pull the clock from the front install the battery and then turn the time set button to set the clock hands to the correct time so i don't know why but it just made me really nervous to like take this thing out of here but what you do is you take the clock and you twist it out of the socket here so what it does is it just pops out of there and it's just left with like a candle pedestal. There's no clock. There's nothing in here. Now it's just a candle pedestal. So you could put like a picture or something in here if you don't like the clock effect. And then here is the clock itself. So what you're going to want to do is there are like these little indents right here that are around the back. You're going to want to take those off. And then that's what is going to expose the little battery area and the time setter. And just be very careful. I did pop off the gold ring the first time that I pulled this off. It is, uh, you can put it back on pretty easily, but just be careful with that. So what you do is you put the battery in the bottom here. And then what you do is you turn this little dial in the back here to whatever time it is. So it's 
328 right now. So there we go. We will go to 328. And then we will give it uh, about five minutes and we'll see if it's working properly. And then don't forget to put the back back on. And then you will pop the clock with the 12 facing up, of course. And you will pop the clock right back in the socket there. All right, I hear it ticking. The hand is moving, so it is working. There is not a third hand. There's only the small hand and the large hand. But I absolutely love this clock so here's much. here's what it looks like with some candles on top. So we have the Midnight Spell candle with the snake lid. I thought that one looked pretty cool. And then we also have the Everlasting Magic. Loving the contrast between the like burgundy and between the two golds. Really, really awesome looking. Now is it worth $70? I don't know if it's worth $70, but it is an amazing piece. You know, I wouldn't be mad paying $70 for it. I'm glad that I got it for 20% off. So I think that I got it for a really good price. It's really, really heavy. It's a decent looking piece. You can do it this way. You can turn it around and just have it face that way. However you like to use it. I love the clock function on it. So if you were iffy about the clock pedestal this year, I think it is an amazing piece. Definitely pick it up. I recommend it. It looks awesome. It glows in the dark. It's a clock. I just love everything about it. It looks old timey. So yeah, I do love this piece. Super glad that I picked it up. So thank you so much for watching another video of mine. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one.